You're good, I'm just talking to myself. Hey YouTube, at this point you guys probably think I'm pretty normal. Okay, maybe not. But the point of this video is to explain why I am so odd. So here are five reasons why I was a weird kid. Number one. When I was around seven or eight, I didn't want to grow up to be a ballerina or a doctor or a marine biologist. I wanted to be Amish. Now, I have a reason for this. At the time, I was obsessed with the book series Little House on the Prairie, which is about a pioneer girl who moves out west with her family. So, in my seven-year-old brain, Amish equaled pioneers in modern times. So, for around a year or two, I went around telling people that I wanted to be Amish. Look how well that worked out for me. Number two. When I first moved to the United States from Japan, I was convinced that my classmates were a part of a cult. Again, I have an explanation. On the first day of classes, I was sitting in homeroom and I thought that I finally understood what it meant to be American. And then all of my classmates stood up put their hands over their hearts and started chanting in the direction of the American flag. I was terrified. So I stood up and began mouthing watermelon so that they wouldn't figure out that I wasn't a part of the cult and, you know, try to sacrifice me. I now realize that this was instead a practice of patriotism and not of a cult. America. Number three. When I was in the eighth grade, I took a speech course in which I had to deliver an informative speech at the end of the semester. So, you know, most kids chose to talk about their favorite football player, or ballet, or gymnastics. I chose to talk about spontaneous human combustion. Now, if you aren't familiar with spontaneous human combustion, it's when a human spontaneously combusts. Pretty self-explanatory. So I'm up there talking about exploding body parts and showing off my visual aids of decapitated limbs to the entire class. Clearly this is a normal thing for a teenager to go through. Miraculously, I got an A, so I guess that means that my speech teacher was just as disturbed as I was. Number four. When I was around four, five, six, I earned the nickname Scara because I was afraid of literally everything. I was a toddler vegetable. I was afraid to go up the stairs. I was afraid to use the toilet. I was afraid to get on the bike. I was afraid to get off the bike. In fact, at one point, I didn't go outside for an entire month because I was afraid of the scary trees. The scary trees. The what was so scary about the trees? Last but not least, number five. During my freshman year of high school, I went through a dark, terrible time known as the emo scene phase. I normally try to cover this up, so you're welcome. Anywho, I wanted to be super edgy, but I literally only shopped at Target and Old Navy. <laughs> So I had to make some adjustments. I remember I really wanted some super cool arm warmers, but I didn't know where to buy them. So instead, I wore socks on my hands. I'm serious, I put socks on my hands and I cut off the tips. Arm warmers. <sighs> it's unfortunate, cause to this day, my boyfriend still sends me stock images of people with socks on their hands. So for all of you kiddos going through the emo scene phase, know that it is, in fact, a phase and not a way of life. Says the person wearing all black with black nail polish. It lives on. Anywho, those are five reasons why I was an abnormal fetus. I hope you enjoyed this video and this week's question of the day is, what were some strange things that you did as a child? I look forward to reading your comments below and I will see you guys next Thursday. Bye.